Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, I want to say thank you so so much for 100k here on YouTube. I couldn't be more excited. Honestly, weirdly enough, it means more to me than all the numbers I have on the other platforms. And I think it's because I never thought YouTube was for me. I'm very shy, I'm an introvert, I don't have like a bubbly personality, so I never thought I would be big on YouTube or get this much subscribers here. So I'm definitely so, so happy. And also it's my favorite platform because I believe we are so free here to create whatever we want. I started to be more serious on my YouTube this year, so I'm new here and this landmark means so, so much to me. So I want to thank you all. Thank you to my YouTube fam. So, all right, let's move on to today's video. And today's video, it's a do-it-yourself that I've been cooking up in my head for a while now. So you probably already guessed by the title and the thumbnail of this video, but basically it's a blazer cord. I've been wanting to get my hands on it uh, for a while. I have some cords of skirt and cropped blazer, but not quite like the one that I want to make today. Actually, my babe Sophia is rocking them so, so well. I was even talking with her saying that I wanted it. She showed me some brands that make this and it looks like it's easy to make. So I decided to do it myself instead of ordering one. But either way, you can find on Depop or on Instagram a lot of stores that do this to vintage blazers so yeah I will be attempting to do uh, one of these cohort sets I think they are really really pretty so if you're just like me and you're trying to get your hands into one of these cohort sets and want to try to make it yourself just keep on watching all right so before we start getting our hands dirty here i'm gonna show you what materials you need for this tutorial so first we need a blazer you can use one of yours or a vintage one this one i got it from azo's marketplace it's a vintage one but you need to make sure that it's a very large one this one is an extra extra large then we need some scissors i like to use a big one for fabric cutting and a tiny one for thread then i will use this sewing hook to clip the skirt on the inside so you'll probably need to get your hands on something like this you will also need the actual thread in the most similar color that you can find to your blazer we are also going to need some sewing pins then we need a sewing machine or if you prefer to sew by hand you will just need a needle the first thing we are going to do is just to cut the blazer dividing the top and the bottom so i'm going to put this on the blazer on just to try to see what's the best height for the jacket and i'm going to use these sewing pins just to mark exactly what i wanted all right so i'm going to fold the jacket to try to understand what's the best length for me i think this is the one so yeah this is marked one pin is enough because then we can measure the entire jacket all right, so here we have the blazer with the marking. We don't want like a raw edge here. We really want a beautiful sewing edge. So I'm just going to cut it two centimeters below the marking. All right, so we cut it our top and our bottom. We can now separate them and the skirt will be a little harder to do than the jacket. So we'll start with the jacket and take this to the sewing machine so we can do our edge here. All right, guys, so we have the top part of the blazer here. And as you can see, we have some fabric layering here. We have the outer part and we have the lining. So what I want to do is just to fold once, but I'm going to fold both parts to the inside the lining and the outer part and then join them together and sew and we'll have a much better edge here i'm gonna use some sewing pins to put this together all over before going to the sewing machine so just clip them together like this and now it's time to get this into the sewing machine and start sewing i will sew like one centimeter above the edge and that's it just regular sewing <laughs> All right, so I finished sewing the entire edge. Let's just put it on because this is actually all there is to the jacket. So yeah, I really like it. And I can use like a safety pin here to just clip it together if I want, because there's no button. I really love the length and I'm really, really happy with it. I can kind of envision how the cord is going to look, but now let's move on to the skirt, which is the hardest part. So 
I just pray that it works out. I'm going to wrap this around my waist just to see how much shaping we need to do. And I want it to be like an envelope, something like this. So I will later on transfer the buttons to here and here. But before that, there's a lot of fabric here that we need to just pinch. And the first part where we are going to pinch fabric is here on the side sewing of the blazer. I want to pinch the fabric like this so it gives a better shape to the skirt and pinch on the opposite side of the lining exactly the same amount so when we sew them together on the edge you don't have any sewing or raw edge showing we'll have a very clean finish and i will also pinch here on the back as well We now have three pleats here and now it's time to try to see if we need to adjust and pinch more fabric or if it's enough to fit our waist. I kind of really like how it fits so I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine now and sew all the pleats we made here. Alright guys so now we are about to sew the fabric that we pinched so we have the marking here and we are going to sew like a straight line from the place where we put our first sewing pin and just do like a diagonal until it smoothly reaches the sewing that's already here from the side to not only to the outer fabric but also to the lining we need to do this separately so then we can sew the edge okay guys so I sewed all the pleats all the fabric that is pinched this is how it looks and when you open the fabric it just looks very clean and the same thing to the lining so now that we did this we just need to fold this part and the outer part just put them together and sew like we did with the jacket so we can have a very clean edge so i finished sewing this edge over here and it looks really good and the pleats also look good so i'm pretty happy about this so far now the only thing that is missing is the placement of the buttons and the sewing hook but before i do that because i need to put this on and measure exactly the place that i want for the buttons and the sewing hook i need to remove the buttons from their original placement so i'm going to use my small scissors for this and very carefully without making any holes on the fabric i'm just going to start cutting the thread involving the button to remove it this should be very very easy and fast as you can see all right so no more buttons here so i think i'm going to place the hook right over here i'm going to use a sewing pin to just mark the place and then i will place the buttons one over here i'm gonna mark the place too and the other one over here i think it looks good so i'm just going to take this off and start the buttons and the hook guys so i finally finished i placed both buttons i'm not very good at placing buttons but i think they are secure and that's what matters also place the hook is looking great and also very secure and i actually have more hooks here so i decided to make the executive decision of adding last minute a hook to the jacket as well so i'm able to close it you never know i might just want to wear it closed or open but this way i'm sure that i can wear both ways if i want to it was actually very very easy it took me only two hours and i think it ended up looking very professional so we'll have a very good quality cord so now that it's finished all there's left to do is just to put it on This was it. 
thank you so so much for watching this do it yourself let me know in the comments if you like do it yourselves and what you want me to do next once again thank you so much for this milestone of 100k i love my youtube family so much and if you are not a part of it yet don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to follow me on instagram or tiktok i have the links down below on the description and i guess that's it i'm gonna see you around next week bye guys love you